Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazu and welcome back to another show match. It's been a while. Yes, I guess it's been a while. But the reason why there hasn't been any show match is because many of the pro players have been busy with tournaments. There's Digital Live King of Games and there was the Dragon X World Championship qualifiers. But right now we have Cats Die and Ube Mamor coming here for a show match. The format will be best of 3 KOF, followed by a 1 vs 1 rounds mode in Lost Temple. And then if the score is overall 1-1, one, one, they'll go for a third KOF. So it's a best of 3 of a best of 3. Best of 3 exception! But it's cool! And we'll start the match right now. So the first thing will be 3 KOF, and the first to win 2 KOF will win this first game overall. So the reason for KOF and Lost Temple formats is to let you guys see how a class can actually fight when they go out, as well as Lost Temple. We have certain skills like usually just buffs, self buffs for you like iron skin, how charging is removed and for the dark summoner it will be skills like grudge formation. So for now it will be Q of 4 mode where all the skills will be used. So it will be a destroyer up against a dark summoner, I forgot to mention that here. And Cat's Die I believe has been participating in the GMPGL himself as well as the DWC qualifiers. So right now we'll see what they can offer us for a show match. I didn't miss commentating these games. And we definitely miss... I know you guys you guys gonna say in the comments, gonna say, Bring back the old school Warriors show match. Yeah, definitely we'll do that soon. But we'll start with Cats Die, Dark Summoner against Zui Mamor in KOF here. Dark Summoner against a Destroyer. So Milstrom How versus... I don't know, Phantom Claw EX? See that stigma of curse? He has it at level 6 that allows him to summon twice. Force the flying swing there on his chain claw. Nice taunting out here from Uber Momo so far to catch him here after baiting the dummy ghost as well. And this could just be the end for Cat's Die because the A range is better as well. He gets the better how buff as well. Bowen. And the first round probably will go to Uber Momo here very, very quickly here. To see the combo show A vision baited. Blitz claw iframe used as well, but this time iron skin will be on. We see a soul gate being used. Phantom Rage from mobility is gonna get caught below. Storm not quite there. Nice spirit blow, but the iron skin is on. Here comes the Maelstrom Howl. All kill for our first round here as we go into game number two. So the thing about Dark Summoner right now is if your chain claw does not actually catch your opponent, you can see Iwoom Memo actually managed to bait that one first. You definitely have to do that and for the Screamer or Dancer class to face a super armor based class like the Mercenary is actually one of their toughest matchups here so most likely this game for KOF at least will be going towards the Destroyer. But we'll see what Cat's Die can show us in terms of a Dark Summoner in KOF as well. Don't even see a casting of Revenge Hand so he needs to buy time such that the he can actually bait Flying Swing with another skill. We'll be more trying to bait Chain Claw once again. Nice and Walker's lift here. Gets the Chain Claw lift right now and Phantom Claw EX right now. Delays the Phantom Claw here to try and catch the A Vision if Ubuntu Mamo makes a mistake here. Execution is supposed to A Vision baited. Backs away here with Ghost Kick. Blitz Claw Iframe forced on the Ring Bombs here. Could just tumble over here and you can see that Ubuntu Mamo very familiar with the Chain Claw range here. It's called Revenge Hand right now. Phantom Claw. He's not A Vision. He's watch for the relief timing now. A Vision just up here. Spirit Blow, baits the dummy goes here, this is where Cat's Dice will be in trouble here. Phantom Rage from Mobility gets away in time. He's the back away right now. Managed to get there here as well. There's the Soul Gate here. Caught by Circle Swing using the Soul Gate as a buffer here. And the Cyclone X catch is good as well and Cat's Die right now will be in trouble. Don't think it's Avigen up anytime soon. Taunting how all bounce not quite there. Will win after the Storm is good. And most likely 2-0 to Ubermaw here in KOF. The destroyer. A vision baited, ring bombs, water with blitz claw. Combat circle swing here. I think he panicked. Didn't quite time his tumble here. And that will be 2-0 to Ubermaw in KOF. That will be 1-0 to him as well. And we'll go to Lost Temple. So I would say the second round was a little bit better for Cat's Die, but Dark Summoner against Destroyer, pretty much like Gladiator against a Mercenary, you need to catch them early in the game and try to snowball all the way down here. When he actually elevated, he needed to try to catch him again, but he used all the skills for catching 
to actually catch the destroyer. So the recatch opportunity was not there with revenge with skills like revenge chain. And the chain claw was used as a combo, so it should be in Phantom Claw, maybe Dispan Needle to try to keep the target hitable, followed by maybe Chaos Formation to do some DPS first, and then force the Relief Crisis How get the dummy goals, maybe a Spirit Blow will be good. By then there will be Iron Skin I guess, and you need to stay alive during the Iron Skin moments, and then try to catch the opponent again. Let me get an Ultimate to be used as well, Phantom's Avenger for DA here. But the thing about Fantasy Avenger is it can be countered with Cyclone X. So the casting time for Fantasy Avenger is very, very long. Very hard to use in QF as well against a Mercenary. This is why Mercenary is also one of the hardest matchups here as well. Both plates on the ground. Flying Swing Forced. Speedball Beta as well. Blitz Claw is like the main DPS skills here for the Dark Summoner as well. Evasion baited, caught by Circle Swing, nice catch here for Mupa Mall. Taunting how to keep the target hitable as well. And combo time here for the destroyer. Full blown rolling attack. Ring bombs. And the Storm will win here, will take him away as well. There will be round one to the destroyer as well, and this show match will end pretty quickly if Cats Die does not pick up his game here. But you can see that Wurma Mall very familiar with fighting Dark Summoners. I believe he has been warming up as well. And both of them are buddies. You can see that they are from the same guild. And they definitely practice against one another as well. Spirit Change not quite there. Steam of Curse, Chain Claw, off target here. Based A Evasion, backs away with Ghost Kick here. And this is where he should not come in here. He needs to get away right now. And using Blitz Claw as an iframe skill for Flying Swing, not really ideal. Jump slash combos here from Ube. Another one. Double jump slash. And because the Kali class actually received e, the 20% HP nerf here, once again Flying Swing used against the Blitz Claw here. And Blitz Claw, your main DPS skill here, has been damage reduced. Good revenge chain right now. Release the Flannel Claw. Look at that, the Chain Claw that was just a bit too early. Could have used the Chain Claw after the area vision here to get a free catch. We go base the tumble. Good blitz claw here from Cat's Die. For the circle swing this time. This time the chain claw finds the target here, and this is where the Dark Summoner you try and catch it. The relief is forced. Good Phantom Claw. This is where the snowball will come. Revenge hand. Evasion baited. Good spirit blow. But look at that. Over my wall dodging it around. Blitz claw for the damage as well. Rolling attack baited. Spirit twinge off target here from Cat's. And it's caught by Woven with a storm here. No dummy goes as well. And this could be a turnaround. He's slowed. Backs away with the ghost kick. Look at that. Chain clock cancelling. Ring bombs here. And Chaos Formation there was close. Taunting Cow. This cat's die gonna take be taken down here. Do we attack avoided nicely here by Ube? But finally a blitz claw here will take the mercenary down. 11% HP here by Cat's Die. Still have not perfected his game. But it is definitely a positive round for Cats here to show us some Dark Summoner gameplay. But Ube has been playing very well as well. Spirit Change plays the tumble. See this is where the Chain Claw should be used or... He plays the A version here I guess. Good Spirit Blow. Dummy Ghost is baited. This is where the Destroyer can go on and be aggressive. Demolition Fist, Superman baited as well. Something how avoided with Blitz Claw here. Chain Claw! Baited once again. Revenge Chain baited as well. Good punishing swing here from Ube. Needs to be careful of the storm here. Bridge blow. Phantom claw. Page the A evasion. Chaos formation. Cat's caught by ring bombs here. Ghost kick from mobility is good. Blitz claw forced. And this is where Ube needs to chase. Now we see rampage claw. To sting off curse. Chain claw. Off target once again. Caught by storm to whirlwind here. And here's another full blow rolling attack. A region baited. Heavy slash blade tumble is good. Force the blitz claw as well. Good flying swing here to prevent the phantom claw. Spirit blow blitz the tumble. This is where chain claw is very scary. Revenge hand recatch not quite there. Punching swing. Nicely aimed. But dummy goes used well as well. But nice ring bombs to catch. Cats die here. A region baited used well on the rolling attack here. But demolition fist bomber is used well against rampage claw. And cats will go down here I believe. Combo time for Ube. Taunting Howard Bounce is good. And 2-1. Two, two so 
So that was a great chocolate waffle there from Ube to catch the Dark Summoner. With the Ghost Kick there, probably the delay of Ring Bomb EX actually helped him there. Of course, if you're playing Barbarian, the Ring Bombs will be faster and probably would not have hit Cat's Die there, but the extra explosion there managed to catch Cat's Die, it's good. Stigma, of course, on the ground here for Cat's. So you can, you can see Ube just baiting the Chain Claw first. Was the Storm well, Spirit Blow, just out of range. Demolish with his Spammer baited, they can use Wrench Hand right now. Caught by Circle Swing Spammer here, taunting how to catch, force the dummy goes. Ah, uh, this is where he baits the Flying Swing, this is good. And Ube will get caught, need to get him after the evasion, Chain Claw should be up right now. And there you go, Chain Claw. Oh, we see a nice Spirit Wolf to kill some mission DPS time, look at that, HP goes down. Spirit Tinge as well, Phantom Claw for extra lift, Spirit Blow is good after relief as well. And this is where we see a good round here from Cat's Die. A range drop kick avoided. Circle swing, dodge just in time here. Blitz claw, spammer, and damage not quite there. But Ube backs away. Chosen a punching swing. Chain claw not quite there once again. Taunting how much to beat. Nice timing here for Cat. Oh, but after the region caught by a whirlwind here. Could be a turnaround game here for Ube. Ube rolling attack. And we see some side super combos here. Circle swing. Thinks A vision will not be up in time. Avoid storm. Blitz claw avoided by Ube. Punching swing. Explosion not quite there. Revenge hand. Bait baited as well. The next chain claw will be crucial. Avoids the ring bombs. EX. Oh, Ube is caught there. Forced on flying swing here. Speed blow. Bits the tumble. It's caught by Dash Blow himself. As both players have their own laggy moments. Punching swing almost nicely dragged. Rampage Claw, rolling attack fast, Chain Claw dodge, nice one! And it's got by Damage and Pistol, Storm, avoided there on the Storm, but the Circle Swing catch is good, Base the A-Vision, Spirit Blow, oh the Spirit Blow! Just in range here, 2-2. Two, two. So I guess they are even, both of them have their own lagged moment there, where they actually caught their opponent, but the target actually disappeared here. But that was way, way too close there for both players here. It was good by Cats at the start and Ube managed to catch very well here. And it's not easy to catch Kali because you need to bait the dummy ghost. The distance that is built by the dummy ghost is a lot. And for Dark Summoner, if you watch Kenshi and his draw matches, Blitzclaw iframe is very used very well here. And Cats makes a mistake here on Flying Swing. And we'll be in trouble right now. Combo time here for Ube. Straight away for the rolling attack here. Good blitz star iframe used on the circle swing. Oh, couple of ring bombs here on the chain claw. Good blitz bomb usage here. Storm and the whirlwind will take away a lot of HP here, and I believe the A vision is not off cooldown anytime soon. This will be overall 2 0 to Ube, I guess. A vision beta, tumble beta as well. Cats need to stay calm here. Ben Chen. Touch with circle swing or maybe not. Come by way attack himself. Avoids the storm. Good chain claw here. Could this be a turn around? Chaos formation dodged. Oh, couple punishing swing. Bates the blitz claw here is good. Speed blow off target here. Ring bombs forced. Cancels the ring bombs here. Once again with a fast chain claw. The second he will actually cancel ring bombs here. Revenge hand, catch, not quite there, best to tumble there with punching swing, rolling attack to catch, avoid with blitz claw, good exchange here from both players, but it's caught by circle swing follow up here, and the taunting how it will be GG, between Cat's Die and Ruby Mamor here, a Dark Summoner, and a Destroyer Show Match. Hope you guys enjoyed this comeback of Show Match so far, and many more to come, and as always hit the like button, stomp it if you liked the video. And a, th a big thank you to Cat's Die and Ube for being sporting to show us this show match. Thanks for watching once again. God bless as always. And we'll always see you guys next time. Goodbye.